Applying mat on this one. It's a good scrubbable mat. Um, so I have an inch and a half brush, short pile roller for doing these walls. PVA, fitch for the edges that lift. And obviously a bucket of water and a cloth just for wiping your skirting boards as you're working along and it splashes. With this paper being so absorbent, this first coat, what I've done is I've slightly thinned my paint down um, and also when you're cutting in, what you want to do is definitely just make sure you feather off these fat edges. Don't, don't leave any fat edges and that way you'll get a neat to finish when you roll. Any switches and sockets, I've just run a piece of masking tape over the top just to shield that from any spray and just backed them off a little bit. Just get the emulsion behind. Right in the corner, pull it out. Feather these edges. Wiping that bull nose on the edge there, that will take any splash. Really, you don't get that much. I mean, I've just rolled that there and there's hardly anything on my arm. It's pretty good stuff, this, even though it's been watered down. 
So now we have, well, this camera's not going to pick it up, but least amount of orange peel effect on it. A nice smooth finish. Put in underneath the edge of that picture rail there because that's how they're meant to be finished. Shouldn't really be painting. Although, with this one, in quite a lot of areas, it does thin out to hardly anything. But it does finish the wall, makes it look neater. Okay, so this is the first coat. And I've just got a joint running along there. You can't really see it. But anywhere where at this stage, when it's when it once it's dried, anywhere where you do find you know something you're not liking, it makes a hard stop. Just get rid of it. When you come to choose the finish for these walls, I would recommend um, using a matte finish, scrubbable vinyl matte, rather than um, using silk. Um, I would strongly say stay away from silk on a flat wall like this because any imperfections in the wall it will pick up um, if you have a textured paper then by all means use a silk on your walls because it will enhance the pattern and show it up across the wall um, so yeah avoid using silk on something like this and the second coat will go on a lot easier compared to this it will glide on a little bit of filling here and there but again expected with this. Uh, some of these joints will have a little bit of hard stop to put in but then the next coat of paint it'll all be gone. Uh, around the window looking pretty good. Still wants another coat of stain yet I'm still going to touch that up but that's looking a lot better. Um, these little bits on the bull noses they, they can be filled and they'll be hidden on this side, this is really, that's the worst one, but again, I can sort that out, that, was, that ain't going to be a problem, another one for the joints, just here, a little bit there, again all these will go, the bull noses you can't, you, can, you can't do anything with them, so that's looking really good there now. Spotted. Again, this one want this one's one more coat, coat of stain, and then on the coat and gloss the woodwork. 